Welcome to setting up Windows Live Mail for Gmail. You're going to need Windows Live Mail, a working Gmail account, your Gmail username and password, and access to the internet to continue. So firstly we need to enable IMAP within Gmail itself. So we need to open up Gmail in your browser. The address is mail.google.com or you can search for Gmail in Google or Bing, something like that. Once we're on the Gmail page, we put in our username, which is our username at gmail.com, and our usual Gmail password. Once we've signed in, we can click on settings at the top right hand corner of the screen, and then forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Now at the bottom of the pop slash IMAP page, we want to change the IMAP access to enabled. Once we've done that, click Save Changes, and we can sign out. Once we've signed out, we can close down our browser and open up Windows Live Mail. Okay, once we're in Live Mail, if we go to the top left, to the drop-down box and click on it, and go down to Options, and then Email Accounts, we want to Add an email account. Now the email address we want to add is our Gmail email address, so in our case eggheadarmy at gmail.com. Our normal password that we use to log into Gmail. And then under display name, the name that we want shown when people open one of our emails. And finally we want to click manually configure server settings and click next. Our server type is IMAP. The outgoing server address is smtp.gmail.com and the port number for that is 465. Now we want to uh, have a secure connection, SSL, and we also require authentication, so tick both those boxes. In the server address box for IMAP, the server address is imap.gmail.com and the port number is 995. This server also requires a secure connection. Now we need to change our logon username to be our username at gmail.com and then click next. Click finish and then close and we should be configured. It's currently downloading a list of folders from the Gmail servers few seconds we should see some emails pop up in our inbox. And there they are, all finished.